Hi guys, um, my name is Bridget and um, I wanted to start our YouTube channel talking about um, paranormal um, to things that I've went through um, to other people's stories. Um, so hopefully you like my channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, so I kind of want to give a background of how I got started in doing the paranormal or investigating the paranormal. Um, my first husband, um, he passed away and um, this was a long time ago, like 11 years ago. And when he passed away, a lot of things happened prior to that. Um, I'll kind of tell you some of the stories. Um, one night, um, oh, let me kind of give you a backstory of everything too. Um, my husband was a really bad alcoholic. He would sometimes drink so much that he would pass out. Um, he would um, lose jobs. I mean, there was just a lot of like negative stuff that was going on. So, um, to kind of give you an example, I worked constantly and I provided and I was very angry all the time because I was constantly working myself to death to support both of us. And this habit that he had, it was so bad that it caused a lot of fighting in the home and we would disagree about everything and um, it was tough. <clears throat> So I don't, I believe in energy. I believe that when you, um, how can I put it? When you're angry and negative, you, it's almost like you build something. And I felt like we built some kind of energy in the house that was just super bad. But we also had a weird neighbor too. So I'll get to that. Um, I would say probably three weeks before he passed, I would hear people talking in the living room. I would think that the TV was on and it would be super late at night. And I would think, oh, you know, he's drunk, he passed out, he forgot to turn it off, whatever. And I would go into the room and there would be, it would, it would just go silent. It was like, I would hear seven or eight people conversing. And then um, it was just, it was just like, as soon as I walked in the room, it was like gone. And I was like, what the hell? And then I thought, oh, you know, it's just me being weird. Um, I would hear the strange sound on our roof, almost kind of like, um, not a cat. It was like weird. It, you could hear the claws and it would go clunk, 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 clunk in the middle of the night and it would wake me up and I would be like, what the hell is that? And like I said, this kind of all happened within, you know, a couple of weeks to maybe three weeks before he passed. It was almost like there was something there. It was like, I, I can't describe it. But um, I actually just now remembered the first incident that happened in that condo was probably about two weeks after we had moved in. I was laying on the couch with my dog and um, we had like a TV that was against the wall and, um, but it was on like rollers. So, you know, you could move it easily if you wanted to put it at a different angle. And how it was set up as the couch was kind of in the middle of the room and then we had these huge um, glass windows. And the glass windows were from the, um, the floor to the ceiling. So um, I'm laying there, I'm laying on my back, I'm watching television and within, it, I can't even describe it. And I smoke a lot of weed, but this was, I, this wasn't from weed. And if you smoke weed, you understand what I'm saying. And um, it was like something came into the room. I didn't see anything. And it just like, it was like super quick. And it hit the television, which caused the television to move towards me. And then you heard the sound of the glass go vroom. And I was like, what the, f you know, bleep was that? And, uh, you know, I, I called my husband at the time and I was like, you know, this happened. And he's like, oh, you're, you know, you're just stoned. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Like, 
I smoked weed since I was 14 and things don't just move, you know? I wasn't on LSD. So, you know, like I said, just little weird things. And another time I was filling out bills and I literally heard something in my head say, you better get life insurance. Now, mind you, I was a waitress. I hardly got by. I mean, I, I made good money, but it wasn't like, you know, I was a millionaire or even a thousandaire. <laughs> it was, you know, every dollar counted. And I remember saying out loud, I can't even afford food, more than likely life insurance. And we were both very young, so it wasn't even something I even thought about. <laughs> So, um, leading up to his death, it was just one thing after another, like just things moving on the counter, um, hearing voices. Um, now this is where it gets weird because like I said, I believe in energy. So, you know, if you're negative, you're going to build that negative energy. I, uh, How can I describe it? There was this woman that lived next door and she was older. I would say, you know, at the time, probably in her late seventies maybe. And we lived in these condos next to the Indian reservation in Arizona. So, you know, I'm sure there was some creepy energy from that, but um, she had newspapers all over her windows. And I just thought that was strange. I was like, why would this lady have newspapers all over her windows? And she, seemed very skittish like if i saw her going out to take the trash out she would like look at me in these creepy eyes and then like run back inside like almost like i had some kind of disease or something it was weird and um one night we had a few family members over and we kind of you know these condos that we lived in had a pretty nice size backyard and we were um you know just like we put like a little bonfire and we were like cooking hot dogs or something and um, all of a sudden, she pops her head out from the other side of the fence. And she's like, and these are like um, brick, not brick, um, like stucco fences or something where you can't see through them. And they were all pretty high. So she would have had to got on like a, um, you know, chair or whatever. And she pops up and she goes, you can't have a fire here. You know, you can't do this here. And I can't describe it. And I'm sure some of you have seen people with their eyes just look so creepy. It was like almost like it wasn't her and she ha I can't describe it she had this creepy vibe like and and her wall was connected to our wall our bedrooms were I think my living room was was connected or my bedroom was connected to her living room so you know I don't know it was just weird and I would hear weird sounds coming from over there I, I can't describe it this place was just strange you know but then I thought oh it's just you know me being silly but i don't know i've always kind of had that where i could sense people's energies and and you know i could sense if if spirits were around not all the time but some of the time and the older i get the more i notice that it gets stronger but i do like to take edibles so you know i'm sure that takes away a lot of it i i feel like if you are really intuitive you shouldn't have any kind of drugs in your system so back to the house, um, one night we were fighting and oh, this is so creepy. Um, and I told him, I was like, why don't you just get out? You know, just, just leave. And then he leaves and it's storming outside in, um, if you ever lived in Arizona or no, the monsoons are awesome, but they're, you know, they're kind of scary. And, um, he left and then I was like, Oh, why did I tell him to leave? And we had dogs, you know, so I, we, and I kenneled them at the time. And I, I picked up one of the dogs and I um, was bending down to put them in the kennel and I heard this creepy laughter. It was, I can't even do it. It was so demonic and so creepy. And um, <laughs> I never ran so fast in my life. I put that dog in that kennel, I locked it and I bolted out of that condo. And I saw him walking down you know, towards the Circle K, I believe. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I don't even want to talk about it, but I heard this voice and he's like, what? And we were fighting. So he just was like, what is your problem? And we ended up, you know, going back, but I was absolutely terrified. There was something behind me that it almost like it got a kick out of us fighting. 
And I felt like we maybe we manifested that or the neighbor did. I'm not sure. But that's kind of like my main story of how it all started for me getting into the paranormal. I can go into more detail. Just let me know down below. Um, you know, let me know what you want to hear more of. I mean, I'm super new to this, so please don't be mean. Just understand that um, this is something I truly love and I would love to share this with other people. Thanks for watching and like I said, please subscribe or let me know what you think.